Could I ask you a few questions? Of course, Seeker. What can you tell me about voodoo? My practice is mainly selling charms and potions with magic power, such as Grigri and voodoo oils. You know, everything from unrequited love to wandering spouses to winning a lawsuit. But my spells and charms are powerful, and they work. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Why, well, that has nothing to do with me and my clientele. But I can tell you that you should stay as far from it as possible. There is badness there. Very bad. So you don't think the voodoo aspects of the case are fake? Fake? Let me tell you about fake. If I get information through the grapevine and make use of it, is that fake? No. That is part of a voodoo yen's power. If people don't believe, there is not much I can do. But if they do believe, that is a part of my power too. But there are things, monsieur. Things not even a little bit fake, I can tell you. Believe it or not, but stay away from it. What can you tell me about New Orleans? New Orleans is the center of voodoo practice in the United States. What can you tell me about... It is a fascinating city with many dark secrets. Do you know anything about snakes? Snakes? You mean like my beloved Grimwald? She's a python, you know. Quite deadly in the wrong hands. I was trained by one of the great voodoo queens to learn how to hypnotize and handle snakes. What's the significance of St. John's Eve? St. John's Eve? It is the greatest night of the voodoo year. There is always a traditional conclave on St. John's Eve. Most of our voodoo churches these days hold functions in the church hall. But in the old days, they had ceremonies out in the wild, and they wore animal masks and had a huge bonfire and dancing. I used to go when I was an apprentice. Sometimes in the swamp, you know, Bayou St. John, sometimes at the lake, Lake Pontchartrain. Do you have any idea what Cabri saint Car means? Uh, no. No, I don't. Do you have any... Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? Oh, yes. She was the first of the great voodoo queens. Do you know... She ruled voodoo in New Orleans for a hundred years, they say. Tell me about the animal masks. I saw them used once or twice when I was younger, but you don't see them much anymore. They are too... close. Too close to what? Just bad karma. Have you ever heard the word Schottenjäger? I don't know anything about that. Tell me about yourself. Yes? What would you like to hear? How'd you get into this business? I trained in the voodoo arts for many years with the great Queen Tabitha. Really? Who's she? You have never heard of her? For shame! I can see you know little of the world of magic. I'm beginning to get that impression, yes. What kind of people come to see you? Seekers after the truth, such as yourself. Do you do anything else? I am a voodoo yen, and that is plenty. It takes much spiritual effort. How many voodoo yens are there? No one knows exactly. Many practice in secret. There are probably hundreds. But of course the level and the power of the voodoo yens differ greatly, depending on their training and natural gifts. 
tell me anything at all. I haven't always lived in New Orleans. I came here from Kansas as a young woman. I can't think of anything. Very well. Uh, about Grimwald. What about her? Where'd you get Grimwald? She belonged to a traveling reptile show. She was being terribly mistreated, so I offered to buy her. She's named after a spirit guide I had once. The spirit Grimwald was a very powerful female snake priestess in Egyptian times. Grimwald doesn't sound Egyptian. I only know what the spirits tell me. Monsieur, I am sure they know better than we. How'd you learn to handle Grimwald? I told you a great voodoo queen taught me. She learned from Marie Laveau herself. Ah, oh, fascinating. Would you consider giving me one of Grimwald's scales? No, I couldn't do that. You might do some Grigri of your own, no? One must be very careful with such things. Hair clippings, nail parings, and snake scales. How about showing me how you handle Grimwald? Really? You would like to see me dance, perhaps? That would be... swell. I won't make you wait, Monsieur Knight. No matter what you see, do not be frightened. I'll give it my best shot. They are truly inspiring, isn't it? That's certainly one word for it. Could I ask you a few more questions? Certainly. Give me an example of a gri-gri. All right. Here's an old one. Take a lodestone and some brimstone to a crossroads at midnight. Light the brimstone with a match, and a spirit will come and give you advice in gambling. Give me an example of a gri-gri. Here's an old hoodoo Dr. Gri-gri. Place a dime under your client's tongue, and if the client is under a spell of any kind, the dime will turn black. Give me an example of a gri-gri. To send someone away, take a rotten egg and write that person's name on it nine times. You can also write on it where you want to send that person to. Take it and throw it against his door at midnight. Give me an example of a gri-gri. Here's a nasty one. To kill someone, get a sock or a shoe that belongs to that person. Put graveyard dirt in it and bury it under their front steps. Does that work? I don't know. I never tried it. Give me an example of a gri-gri. To ensure the safety of your child, cut a lock of its hair while it is still a baby and keep it with you. The child must have all its hair before it can die. These are interesting. They're very old. The Grigri that I prepare is much more powerful, I can assure you. But I don't give out those secrets. <laughs>